The drum set is a relatively new instrument and in its short life, just over a hundred years, the role of the drummer and the drum set has changed tremendously. I mean, now our job looks a little something like this. But way back in the 1920s or 30s, one of our jobs looked a little bit more like this. What is happening right now? So let's check out one of the gigs that drummers used to do with drum sets, but also they had to have some different tools than just a drum set. So what were those tools and sounds and who actually made them? We all know there used to be the silent film era, but here's the thing, they weren't really silent. The movie itself didn't have any sound, but when it was played in a theater, most of the time it had an orchestra there playing along with it. Sometimes they had an orchestra with them, sometimes it was just the drummer behind the screen. They were, but they were actually uh, creating audio in real time to what was going on. They provided the sound in real time. This is where the trap kit, which sometimes we refer to drum sets as a trap set, this is where it came around. This is where Foley drumming started, and that is using drums to add sound effects to what's on screen. And it was a large source of income for a lot of drummers and drum set players. So their drum set just looked a little different. I recently actually picked up a mid 1950s drum set. You can see it up there. I haven't cleaned it up. I'll probably do a video of that one. But with it, it still had some leftover remnants of that era. I also had a student that just bought the very rare, I think it's called Top Hat and Cane drum set by Ludwig. And it came with some pretty strange stuff. He's actually coming to a drum camp this next month and then we were talking about it on a student call just recently. He said, hey, this drum set came with a slide whistle. And then he wanted to quiz me and say, do you know what this is? What is this? It hangs from the hoop of a bass drum. Survey says triangle holder. You are a genius. That's how you hold a triangle from a string, at least to get the best sound from it. You've seen some drum set players on social media lately actually doing some of this type of drumming. Let's check out some of the inventions that were made and some of the things that were there back in that time. The train effect is really interesting because it's so simple but effective. This is looks like it was some kind of a file of some sort. Ludwig goes from making the some of the best drums in the world to being like, ah, here's this hammer. Here's this file, you know, put some springs in there. We'll call that an instrument. That just slides in there. Got the option with the bell. No way. No way. These are the horse's hoofs. Oh, you're not going to be like Monty Python and just use effect. coconuts, huh? Ah, uh, coconuts sound better. Ridden on a horse? Yes. You're using coconuts. What? Script continues when the train stops. Uh, a dog nervously barks in the distance. Oh, that's not a bark. That might have been a little that's bill. That's fail. No, no, that's not a bark. <laughs> One of our uh, items that we have is the gunshot sound effect, and this actually holds 22 caliber. Blank Gunshot. shells. And you close this down. What? Have it on the table and strike it with a hammer. Whoa! Whoa. The <laughs> They're firing this thing off in a movie theater? <laughs> what? There was a lot of gunfights, sheriff's shooting, and they used to try to do it with uh, starter pistols with blank cartridges in them. <laughs> And that was clumsy and not quite... Uh... Oh, clumsy! They're just firing pistols in the theater. What? Catch this. They're shooting at us. They're actually shooting at us. I asked Bill to do a demonstration of this instrument for us. And we what? had to go outside because it's a very loud... <laughs> We had to go outside. I know back in the silent film era, like, you guys couldn't go outside, but we had to go outside because it's so loud you'll go deaf. Oh my God. Coach said it's all right to bleed from the ears. <laughs> what? What? The Ludwig family is nuts. What is happening right here? Like, you go to see a movie and all of a sudden just gunfire like 10 feet from you. People's ears are bleeding, their depth is ringing, you know? It's all of a sudden goes from <laughs> a Charlie Chaplin film to Saving Private Ryan. There's smoke and flames. What is William Ludwig hitting things with hammers, you know? What is happening? You're gonna have to speak up. You're sir. gonna have to speak up, so sir. Good. My hearing is not goes. so good. These are some other instruments that they used. Marxophone? What was that? That was the cool thing about the silent era is there were tons of instruments that came about. Hit it, Joe! 
What is happening right now? <laughs> yes! What is he doing? I've never heard of this instrument. I want Joe to come to my house, man. He's an awesome guy. Joe, I think we've got our viewers tuned in. <laughs> Who is this guy, Joe? I think we've got our viewers tuned in. And now we're going to recreate a scene from Saving Private Ryan, but we're going to use William Ludwig just popping off 22 shells, and then we're going to bring back Joe, and we're going to use one of those uh, soundtracks from one of those old silent movies, and this is what it would have actually sounded like. Joe, I think we've got our viewers tuned in. <laughs> if you liked this video, be sure to jump over and watch this one where I paid pro drummers on Fiverr to record parts to the same song, and then we go through and choose who gets the gig.